Hey, yo! With the rapid success of my worst violation series, I thought instead of talking about random violations from random series, that I would start being a little bit more specific and start breaking down and talking about some of the most vile, disrespectful, menacing moments in some of our favorite series. And I thought, what better series to start this off with than one with some of the most black Air Force personified moments in anime history? These are the worst violations in Baki. Now, I'm not going to cap. While I was making the list, there were like 50 things in my notes. Of course, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to give y'all a light go, and we'll come back and revisit Baki at a later time. So y'all know I need at least 10,000 likes for part two, y'all. Also, I was just looking through my notes. <laughs> And about 40 to 50 percent of them are from Eugene Hanma. So let's start off with him, with one of the craziest moments that I have ever seen in my god dang life. And you're probably all wondering, Sin, what could it possibly be? And it's when Baki was conceived. Cause oh my god, how did this man Eugene pull up with the fresh suit Riz and take Baki's mom away from this random ass nigga? Bro, I can't believe that he did this. Bro walked in here on his debonair and just took this dude's wife away. The scene was set up with two individuals fighting for the amusement of all these rich ass bastards and they clean suits. And Baki's mom, as you can see right here, made eye contact with this fight and she was getting turned on. I mean, she started moaning when this mother got hit with an elbow. In the red corner, we have standing at six foot one and for some reason wearing bandages. Yo, we have Muay Thai fighter. That nigga was an umbak. Oh, he does Muay Thai. Oh, sorry about that. We have the chocolate Muay Thai fighter. Yo, pause. Your mom fucked her. And in the red corner, we have this nigga wearing a big ass gi. Where did you get this from? Mom think he had missile launch a lot. My name's Timothy. Oh, my fault. Oh, I like watching these guys fight like that. Oh, it makes me all hot and bothered. <laughs> and this man, Ujiro, had eyes on Baki's mom from the beginning. That's how you know this man is ready to violate somebody. Because look at how his eyes gleamed at her. Damn, yo, shorty bad as <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie, you already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> ah, wipe these eyebrows. Make sure they slick for shorty. I'm about to put this motherfucking bridge on. Hey, hold on. She with a nigga. Hey, bitch. What the f you looking at? Uh, nothing. What the f? Damn. Yo, he just pimp slapped her. Oh, he on this Chris Brown type time. Hey, yo, somebody called the cops on him. Yo, put him under the jack. This man just be smacking women. Now, I'm not going to cap. After he smacked her, this man, Ujira, walked up and started straight rising up shorty right in front of her. Hey, what's up? Oh, so you just slapping women. Man, don't worry about what I'm doing, Kai. Who the f*** is you? My name's Ujero Hama. Oh, you, Ujero Hama. Hey, listen, man, I don't really got to answer no questions, especially not that no nigga with soup on the suit. What you mean, soup on? Oh, nigga just threw soup on me. I swear to God. You know what? I ain't even about to do nothing to you yet. But watch this, though, bitch. Man, what you mean, what the? Oh, you gonna kiss my girl in the mouth, you bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Now get your whole ass in the ring so I can knock the hair grease off you. Hey, what you use, swab for men? Hey, hey, big baggy gee. Hey, get in there and fight this dude. So not only did this man, Eugero, kiss this dude's girl right in front of him, then the dude with the baggy gee got in the ring like he wanted to throw down. And I was like, let's get ready to rumble. Just for this man, Eugero, to fold this dude. He tried to run up and do that grapple shit. And this man, Eugero, with the quickness, hit him with one of the nastiest heel kicks that I have ever seen in anime. God damn. You know he got brain damage, yo. Look at where his heel landed. Right on the back of his head. Bro, that dude is never going to walk again. Thanks to Eugero Hanma. Or should I say, Riz Jiro Hanma. Because how he just ripped this man girl up like that? I thought that this was going to be the worst of the moment. But then later that night, they go home. He get the politicking with his girl in the room. And I'm just thinking to myself, damn, fake ass Steven Seagal, how you fumble a baddie like that? She don't even want to hear nothing you saying. Hey, hey, listen to me. No, I'm not listening to anything you're saying. You got beat up earlier. You're a bitch. Man, what you mean I got beat up? Yo, I swear to God, don't play with me like that. <laughs> Wait, bitch, what you looking at? Oh my God, is, is that Eugero? Eugero, oh, hell no. Hey, hold on, cuz. I'm gonna get this phone up. Hey, cuz, man, you just up here, man. Send the goons up. Hey, what you mean? 
What you mean you're not coming up here? Oh, I heard. Oh, so y'all saw. Man, don't even worry about it. I'm going to handle this. Don't you f***ing move. Because I'm going to unload this whole clip in the back of your motherfucking skull. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I thought that this man, Eugero, was about to get popped, y'all. But then he <laughs> grabbed this man by the throat. Strangled him with one arm and then proceeded to hit Baki's mom right in the same room. And that, my friends, is one of the worst violations in Baki. Because how is he going to make Baki get conceived? By stealing his mom from somebody. Oh my God. This man must be stopped. But you know what else needs to be stopped in Baki? Every single time that somebody gets peed on. Next up on the list is every single pee scene in Baki. Bro, this is out of pocket. I can't even believe this. Now, you know, of course, disclaimer. What I'm about to describe is very graphic, but don't worry. Due to YouTube's monetization, I'm gonna have my editor heavily cut and super blur the entire scene. So you guys don't even have to see it. But I am gonna describe every single drop of pee that touches these people, because this is a violation. Editor, please kill the circus music. First up, we have this Russian Ivan Drago lookalike and a boxing ring. They had this man tied up. Everything was looking all right. I'm like, damn, they shooting them, putting holes all in them. First off, this dude is immortal because they shot this man about six times and nothing happened. He then proceeds to flip up and beat the ever loving shit out of everybody in this gym. Man, I thought that dude shoot his ass. Man, I'm about to shoot him. Don't worry about it. Bitch. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is he talking about? Hey, yo, is this Kenny from South Park? My bad. Uh, sorry, guys. Come here, bitch. Oh, my God. How you gonna spit this thing out of your mouth? The first thing you do is uppercut a nigga. Oh, my Jesus. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, pause the video. Hey, yo, sin. I ain't gonna cap, yo. This your boy with the gun. I'm talking to you from inside the bed. I ain't gonna lie, you might be hallucinating right now. Stay off them drugs. But I ain't gonna cap, yo. How this dude is alive after six bullets? This nigga think he 50 cent? He think he ain't get rich or die trying? I I'm just saying, man, this, this shit out of pocket. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what to tell you. But, hey, I'm gonna play the video. Because he on your ass right now. Hey, yo, don't play the video. Oh, man, shit. Oh, my God. Yo, he then picked up an entire weight and started smacking him with it. Hey, yo, first off, how you gonna pick up a whole barbell like that, like it's a sword, and then start smacking the dude with it? I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. He hit this dude and knocked all types of teeth out of him. Jesus Christ. Then he started just throwing weights at him like they was baseballs or something. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing, bro, but the pause moment comes after he knocks this dude out, has this man unconscious. He walks over to this dude, zips his pants down, and pisses on his head. Hey, yo, pause. Yo, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yo, got a urine kink. Yo, this man is R. Kelly for sure. How you gonna put all this pee on this man like this after he unconscious? That dude is out of pocket. Oh, nah, then you gonna slice his throat open too? Jesus. Yo, our next moment comes from Baki as well. I'm not gonna cap. This moment was kind of messed up. This was right after the guards beat the shit out of Mike Tyson. But you remember that one like Hispanic dude? I'm not gonna cap, I don't remember his name. And it's really not that important. But he was like the main antagonist for Biscuit Oliver until, you know, he got punished and then Baki fought Biscuit. And anyway, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The dude came to Mike Tyson's rescue and he was fighting these goddamn guards. Now I'm thinking to myself, all right, it's three guards, one dude, they're in the prison. This is the beginning of something on the hub. I'm just saying. But then they get to try to fight in them, and this happens. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. A fake ass watermelon dude. Hey, yo, shut your bitch asses up. Well, time to beat your ass. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, nah. Uh, yo, is this dude pissing right now? Oh, nah. Yo, somebody stop him from paying. This dude is disgusting. Oh, I thought you were gonna beat my ass. Oh, take this pee. 
Oh, nah, a hey, sin. Pause moment number. Wait, what number we on? We on hella pauses right now. But sin, I ain't gonna cap, yo. This yourself talking to you from the past so you can hear it in the present. Yo, mad pause on that? Because why you voice over that dude peeing like that? I'm just saying. That man sensei mad zesty, y'all. But anyways, moving on. We got another moment. Well, this dude didn't really get peed on. But the fact that he was having a whole intimate conversation with this detective and then pissing in the urinal, this man's spec is disgusting. First off, what kind of meat cannon could you possibly have to pee this much? Man was peeing out got them PCP piping, bro. It made no goddamn sense. But last but not least, we gotta talk about this moment. Uh, what's good, Baki? Ah, biscuit. You fat bitch. What you want? <laughs> Just checking on you, little guy. How you doing today, though? You look malnourished right now. Maybe a little thirsty? Well, now that you mention it, I am a little thirsty. I ain't gonna cap. I could use some water. Oh, my God, nigga. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh. oh nah. Oh, this man peeing on me. Oh, my God. Hey, somebody help me. Oh, nah. Oh, why your pee so sticky like this? What do you be eating? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it smells like ammonia. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the bad kidneys for you, kid. Hey, yo, I can't believe that my man Biscuit Oliver peed on my man Baki like this. That is the biggest pause moment in Baki, son. Because you black. I hold you to a higher standard than everybody else. I'm just saying. Ain't no way you should be peeing on that grown ass man like that. Yo, somebody please get this man Biscuit Oliver and pack his big, buff, zesty ass, son. I ain't going to cap out here looking like a Chuck Roast. I'm really on this dude. Man, looking like a spare rig. Looking like a goddamn boar or something. Looking like a grizzly bear with like a six pack. I'm really on him right now. Next up on the list, we have another instance in Baki of someone's woman getting taken away. Well, at least an attempt was made. But we're going to talk about two different violations, but they both correlate to each other. And they're both involving Muhammad Ali Jr. This was a violation. First and foremost, this man Muhammad Jr. is now bad. Can we talk about how this man was trying to take Baki's girl to the point where he just started fighting everybody in town, trying to impress her? At first I thought, you know, he probably trying to train and get stronger. And that could be the case for some other reason. But he definitely was trying to impress this bitch. Now, I don't know what's more of a violation. The fact that he was trying to take Baki's girl or the fact that every single time he pulled up on somebody and fought them, he then got folded after. He tried to fight everybody. Oko Orochi, Goki, Jack Kanma, and eventually Baki. But I have to talk about this Jack Kanma fight because this was one of the most embarrassing ass whoopings that I've ever seen in my god dang life. So this man Ali Jr. pull up on Jack Kama while he's devouring an entire cow. I mean, you know this man Jack Kama eats his calories worth in people every single day. Yo, hey, what's good? Hey, you Jack, ain't you? <sighs> Who's asking? Man, what the fuck? Me, man, I'm the only one in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I... Try not to pay attention to black people. Hey, yo, man, what the fuck? Man, listen, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I came in here because I wanted to fight. Now, I was gonna beat your ass just due to the fact that I wanted to get stronger. Well, ain't the fact that I'm trying to take your brother girl. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna risk her up later. But now I want to beat your ass because you eating this steak like that. Why the fuck is you eating a whole steak like that? You ain't even cutting it up with your big ass jaw. First off, pause. That was zesty. So the black guy wants to fight, huh? What do you want to battle rap or hip hop dance? You know, what the fuck? Hey, yo, watch how you talk to me. Boy, I will punch the shit out of you, white boy. I swear to God, when I get up for this table. Oh my God, nigga, you big as shit. Hey, yo. <sighs> Let's go to the parking garage, dumbass monkey. Oh, what you think, you freezer? Yeah! You see me get warmed up? Yeah, what you gonna do about this speed? What you gonna do about this technique? Man, you ready to fight, you dumbass, buff ass. Oh, shut up. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> we got us that. Oh, man, that didn't even do anything. Holy <laughs> shit, dude, fast as hell. Oh, huh. Ha, ah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Nigga, this shit with a boot. Oh, I got your nose bleeding out. What you gonna do about this? How about this uppercut? Uh oh, this man, I grabbed my ass. My turn. Damn! And at this point, y'all, I knew that Muhammad Ali Jr. was gonna get folded. 
This man, Jack Connema, slammed this dude so hard that he saw three of him. Not one, not two, Trace. He said, damn, it was like, it was like six jacks. The fuck, there's only four in the deck. And then Jack proceeded to beat the ever-loving shit out of this man, Muhammad Ali Jr., but he wouldn't give up. He keeps telling him to come for more. Bro, your tongue is hanging halfway out your mouth. You know how McDonald's hash browns be hanging halfway outside the bag? Shout out to Riz Rothstein. But that's how this man's tongue looked. Oh and this God. man, Jack Conima, had this man in a parking garage wishing that he could use his tongue to taste again. Moving on past all of the obvious ass whoopings that Muhammad Ali Jr. takes, we then go to Muhammad Ali Jr. versus Baki. And this was embarrassing. First off, Yujiro was there and he was commentating. So, you know, I'm thinking we about to get a crazy fight. We got actual Muhammad Ali there for his son. We got Yujiro there for his son, Baki. We about to get a real fight. And then this man, Muhammad Ali Jr., fumbled the bag once again. Yo, Yo hey, man, what's, what's good, good, man? Hey, crap. Everybody, Everybody shut, shut the up. fuck up. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, man, we got a fight for y'all today, man. First up in the red corner, man. You already know representing the red hair bandits. You feel me? We got big fucking. Hey, son, if you lose, I'ma kill you. And in the black corner. Hey, hold on. Why you say black corner, man? Because he black. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. We, we got, got Muhammad Ali Jr. Hey, hey, emphasis on the Jr. Because you a you little dude. dude. Bitch ass boy. Hey, what's up, Muhammad? Hey, I heard you was trying to talk to my girl, little dude. Man, yeah, I'm going to talk to your girl, man. I'm about to hit that later, boy. Stop playing with me. Oh, you about to hit it, huh? Okay, okay. Hey, why you walking up on me like that, man? You know I'm about to punch you in your chin, right? Do it then. Bitch. Wait, where you go? And just like that, you should have known that this fight was about to be over, y'all. This man, Baki, hit him with the cleanest right that I ever seen and shook this man's chin to oblivion. This man fell on his back like a girl ready to be penetrated. I said, oh, nah, you got all the muscles and speed for nothing. Boy, you on the ground looking dumb right now. Yo, Baki, please don't do him too bad. His eyes already lifeless. Bro can't even see the light. And then this man was finally starting to come to. He leans up and he sees Baki standing over him like a disappointed dad that seen a son get body slammed in a wrestling competition. Oh, Bro, what the hell? Where am I at? Oh, sh oh, wait. I'm fighting this white boy. Hey, hey man, what the f Hey, what happened, bro? Man, that was a fluke, man. You ain't gonna do nothing to me, man. I done fought all the competition in the world these past couple days. Yeah, and they all beat your ass. Man, shut up. Oh, oh, this man kicked me in my nuts. Oh, I guess you can't use those on my girl now. This motherfucker. Oh. Now come here and let me teach you a lesson. Don't you ever in your life talk to my girl again. <laughs> Scared, but gonna kill him. Man, somebody stop the fight. Hey, get him out of my son, man. Hey, you I know that's your son and all that, but I'm about to knock his ass out, man. He choking my son up and shit. Touch my son and I'm gonna kill your black ass. All right, my fault, huh? Damn, man, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Muhammad Ali Jr. thought that he was about to take Baki's girl, and he didn't even get her. How you didn't get the girl and you got beat up by everybody you tried to spin the block on, bro? This man might be the worst. Nah, 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 nah. He is. He's definitely the worst letdown in Baki history. I, I can't even cap. Now, next up, I want to talk about you, Jiro Hanma, once again. Because there was a scene in particular in Baki that was kind of... Nah, I wasn't even kind of scratch that. That was oh definitely crazy. God. And there was when you, Jiro Hanma, split an entire man's face off. This man, Yanaki, had no chance of surviving this encounter. Yo, what's up, guys? How you doing? Man, what the fuck? Man, this that hentai artist y'all was telling me about? Man, I will smack the shit out your little ass, bro. What's up with you, man? Wait, what do you mean, anti artist? Man, stop playing with me. We saw you in here, Bridge Baki joint, man. You was in that dumbass sumo diaper talking about you want to be a hentai artist and shit. You thought we forgot? Oh, my phone breaking the four wall. Oh, I mean, I dabble in illustration sometimes. Well, anyways, what's that to you, you big buff bitch? Hey, this nigga just called me a bitch. Man, who the fuck is you talking to? Hey, do you know who I am? Hey, you better get your man, yo. I swear to God, I'm about to kill his ass. He mad because he lost the fight. Man, you gonna concede or you gonna die? Well, 
Don't concede, so. Oh, so you don't concede? You thought you was going to pop up here, use this sword, and everything was going to be sweet. Like, motherfuckers weren't going to get their spin back on you. And now you out here talking about, oh, I'll uh -uh, double the illustration. Man, I will beat the weirdo out of you, boy. You think you're cleaning all that because you a hentai artist and shit. You think you're cool because you draw people with no clothes on, you weird ass dude. Nobody thinks that you talented. Nobody thinks you're clever. All you do is sit in a diaper all day like you would the pins model and draw naked people on paper. Man out here looking like the PB painter thinking that he cool. Hey man, you got one more chance. You gonna concede or not? I told you. I don't shut up. Damn. Yo, he smacked the s*** out of him. Look at his mouth, son. Oh my god. Yeah, that nigga dead. Facts. Eugero went fatality.